Ugh, biology class. Next to the weirdo in the class. As if sitting through a boring lecture weren't bad enough, all of a sudden, you realize… It's that time of the month, and definitely time to make an emergency trip to the ladies' room. Oh god! Ew, mind getting that tampon away from my paper? I don't know what to say. This is the most embarrassing thing ever! Okay, let's take a few steps back here. Next time you're scrambling for a tampon in your purse, try this nifty little trick. Take an old lipstick or chapstick container like this one and make sure the makeup is out of it. Place a small tampon inside the container where the lipstick would normally go. Super easy, right? So next time you're in class and having a… well, moment, take comfort in the fact that you've lessened your chance of having a super embarrassing moment. And off you go! Mascara, the final step in your long makeup process. But why is it that you always manage to sneeze right before it dries? Yep, looks like those made up eyes need a redo. Unless you're into that raccoon eye look. You'd better text your boss. You're gonna be late this morning. All right, it's a new day, which means a fresh start. Oh, come on! This can't be happening again! This time, try holding your eyes open so the mascara doesn't press against your face. Hey, it totally worked! Now all you need is a fresh cup of coffee to make this morning absolutely perfect. Looking gorgeous, Olivia! Squeezing in a quick load of laundry before you head out for the day? God, I put my sheets in here. It won't fit in the basket. Mm, I'll just fold it now. If you've ever folded a sheet by yourself, you know it isn't always the easiest. What on earth is she doing? Just finding the corners of this thing is a job within itself. Okay, I'm going to fold you if it's the last thing I do! Is it just me or is this starting to look like some kind of performance art? Hey, um, can I lend a hand? Yeah. Things just got a little out of control there for a minute. Next time, try this. A little room, please. Put the sheet over your arms, outstretched. Bring your hands together, wrap it over one hand, and pull the rest of the sheet out like this. See? You've made a perfect square. Bring your hands together again and do the same motions. Now that you've created actual corners for the sheet, lay it down flat and fold it like you would a blanket. Don't forget to smooth things out as you go to prevent too much bulk. Once you get to this stage, fold the side over, creating a rectangle. And there you have it. A perfect fitted sheet fold. Hey Emily, I have a present for you. Is this a smooth fold or what? Job well done, Olivia! Now, help me fold the rest of this stuff. Let's see, what do I feel like wearing today? Yes, this shirt is perfect! This color orange is sure to turn heads. Now onto the shoes. This is a toughie. Sneakers it is. Ooh, those things are really dirty, girl. Huh? How did I not notice how dirty these got? Ugh, my favorite shoes are ruined, aren't they? Or are they? I have a brilliant idea. Ooh, grab that toothpaste and toothbrush. Have a dirty pair of shoes you thought were ruined? Take a tube of toothpaste and put a handsome amount of it onto the dirty part of your shoe like this. Yep, now using your toothbrush, a separate one that you never use in your mouth, of course, scrub the toothpaste into the shoe. Really get in there. Once you're done scrubbing, wipe it all away with a damp cloth or wet wipe. Wow, these puppies look good as new! All right, it's time to get going, and in style, of course. Yes, it's the best part of the day! Lunchtime! And boy, does this smell good! Wow, Sophia, you've got mm. quite the appetite, don't you? Okay, all done! I'm so full. Well, I'd better clean this mess up and get back to work. Yikes! Oh man, that's a lot of dishes you've got piled up there, Sophia. The endless hours of scraping and scrubbing. It's tiring just thinking about it. 
Ugh, I definitely don't want to get stuck doing all that. If only there was a way to get around having to wash all these dishes. Hey, maybe there is. Have a rubber glove laying around like this one? With the hot glue gun, pour some glue onto the fingers like this and stick cut strips of a coarse sponge onto them. You can do this to all five fingers. Make sure the sponge is the right size for each finger. Once the fingers are done, just put some glue onto the palm of the glove. It's best to squeeze out the glue in the shape of a Z. Then place a circular sponge on top of the glue. Once it's all dry, you're ready to go! With a handy glove like this one, washing dishes is a total breeze. Ready? Simply squeeze out some soap onto the damp sponge and get scrubbing! Without having to hold the sponge, washing plates is way easier on your wrists and arms. And before you know it, you'll be all done! See, that wasn't too bad, was it? Nothing can spoil a beautiful day outside in the fresh air, right? That is, until a greedy little thief steals your hard-earned cash <laughs> right out of your pocket. Ellie, come on! Turn around! Oh, man. There's gotta be a better way to hide your cash in your pocket. Here's a nifty hack. Take a regular old maxi pad and open it up. But don't take it out of the wrapper. Take a wad of cash and fold it up inside the pad, right in the middle. Now seal that sucker back up and watch the magic. Next time you're sitting outside, stick your makeshift wallet into your back pocket. And you can rest assured, no one's gonna want to steal an old pad. Wow, Lana, you look extra spiffy this afternoon. Waiting for your lunch date, huh? Oh, hey, I'm over here! Hey, girl, nice to see you! Aw, and you brought the pup. He's so cute. Ugh, I just can't get over how handsome your dog is. And his little shirt is adorable. Can he come say hi? Hi, good boy! Aw, you're so cute. Yes, you are. You're the cutest boy in the world. Yes, you are. Um, Lana? You may want to put the dog down. Hey, what's that foul smell? Oh my gosh, he literally peed all down my shirt! This is so disgusting! Lana, I'm so sorry. He's never done that before, I swear! Lana, you'd better go to the bathroom and wash that off before the other patrons start to smell you. Ick! What on earth can I do to fix this? Ugh, I stink! Hey, maybe I can turn this scarf into something more useful. To make a quick shirt out of a scarf, tie two of its corners together in a double knot like this. Then twist it around and put your head through the hole you've made. Now use the extra material to cover up the front of your shirt. Don't forget to pull the rest of your hair out! Wow, Lana, this thing looks better as a cover-up than a scarf! Okay, where were we? Wow, how'd you make that so quickly? And how can I get my hands on one? I guess I can let you in on my secret. One day… Alright, I'd better get off to class, it's nearly 8.30. These new jeans are super nice. I just wish they weren't quite so long on me. See what I mean? I wonder if I'll regret wearing them. Nah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Hmm, I wonder if any of my friends found a table yet. Vicky! Over here, girl! Uh-oh, I sure hope she doesn't trip on those long pants. Oh no! She's totally gonna faceplant it in front of the entire school cafeteria! I sure hope you didn't want those fries. Yep, this is definitely gonna hurt. And boom! Floor, meet Vicky. Ugh, man, that was so embarrassing. Think that many people saw? Wish you hadn't worn those pants now, huh? Hey, I have an idea. These hair elastics are about to save the day. Roll up your pant legs into a giant cuff like this. Next, take one of your hair elastics and wrap it around the middle of the cuff before rolling it back down over it. Keep going, and the elastic will catch the bottom so they won't roll all the way down. Hey guys! Did you miss me? So I fell. It's not the end of the world, right? Oh, you guys are the best friends ever. Thanks! Another fashion crisis averted.